Hi students, as a part of electrochemistry, today I am going to explain you about electrode potential of the electrode. So before going to watch this video, I recommend you to watch the video which I have made on redox reactions. Because this particular video is uh, the extension of uh, that particular video. And the link of that particular video has been provided in the description. So in the previous video, that is while explaining the redox reaction, I have considered the example of uh, the zinc and the copper electrode. And I have clearly explained that among the zinc and the copper electrode, the zinc is the one which acts as anode and undergo oxidation. And copper is the one which acts as cathode and undergo reduction. Zinc is the one which acts as anode and undergo oxidation. And copper is the one which acts as cathode and undergo reduction. Why it is like this only? Why the zinc is not acting as cathode and undergoing reduction? And why the copper is not acting as anode and undergoing oxidation? That is, why the scene is not reverse? What is the reason for it? What is that particular factor? What is the deciding factor which decides among the two electrodes which have been coupled? One to act as anode and undergo oxidation and another to act as cathode and undergo reduction. That is what is that particular force which pushes one of the electrode to act as anode and undergo oxidation and the other to act as cathode and undergo reduction. So that particular factor, that particular force which pushes one of the electrode to act as anode and undergo oxidation, another electrode to act as cathode and undergo reduction is electrode potential of the electrode. That is, electrode potential of the electrode decides the nature of the electrode. Electrode potential of the electrode decides among the two electrodes which have been coupled, one to act as anode and undergo oxidation, another to act as cathode and undergo reduction. So now let us see what is that electrode potential. So electrode potential is designated as capital E. So it is designated as capital E. Now let us see what is electrode potential. It is a measure of tendency of the metallic electrode either to lose the electrons that is to act as anode and undergo oxidation or or to gain the electrons that is to act as cathode and undergo reduction whenever the electrode is in contact with the solution containing its own ions it is a measure of tendency of the metallic electrode either to lose the electrons that is to act as anode and undergo oxidation or to gain the electrons that is to act as cathode and undergo reduction whenever it is in contact with the solution containing its own ions. So electrode potential of the electrode decides, decides the nature of the metal decides among the two metals, among the two electrodes, which to act as anode and undergo oxidation, which to act as cathode and undergo reduction. Now, do remember that whenever the electrochemical cell reaction is being carried out uh, by considering the two electrodes, by considering the two electrodes, by considering the two electrodes means that by considering the two metals or any of the two electrodes then then if standard conditions are being maintained if standard condition means the concentration of uh, the electrolyte is fixed at uh, one molar and the temperature at which uh, these two electrodes are coupled is at 25 degrees centigrade. Yes. Whenever the standard conditions are maintained 
during the measurement of electrode potential that is the concentration of electrolyte is being fixed at the one molar and temperature at which uh, this particular electrochemical reaction is occurring between the two electrodes is 25 degrees centigrade. So when the standard conditions are maintained then the electrode potential turns to standard electrode potential turns to standard electrode potential standard electrode potential standard electrode potential the standard electrode potential can be designated as e naught can be designated as e naught can be designated as e naught now what is standard electrode potential it is the extension of the definition of electrode potential. Now let us see what is the definition of a standard electrode potential. It is a measure of tendency of the metallic electrode either to lose the electrons, that is to act as anode and undergo oxidation or to gain the electron, that is to act as cathode and undergo reduction whenever it is in contact with the solution of one molar concentration at 25 degrees centigrade. So this is extra of one molar concentration at 25 degrees centigrade. If this particular phrase, if these particular words are attached to the definition of the electrode potential, then you will get the definition of standard electrode potential. Standard electrode potential. Now among these two, since standard electrode potential, in the standard electrode potential, we are maintaining the standard conditions, standard electrode potential of the electrode can be determined experimentally. So do remember students, among the electrode potential and standard electrode potential, since standard conditions are being maintained during the measurement of the standard electrode potential, standard electrode potential of the electrode can be determined experimentally. But electrode potential of the electrode cannot be determined experimentally. Since it cannot be determined experimentally, we have to go with theoretical approach. Now how the electrode potential of the electrode can be determined experimentally. I am going to make in the subsequent classes of uh, electrode chemistry. So in this particular criteria of electrode potential, another term is oxidation potential. Oxidation potential. Oxidation potential. Oxidation potential. The name is self-explanatory. Oxidation potential means it is the potential of the electrode to act as anode and undergo oxidation. It is the potential of the electrode to act as anode and undergo oxidation. That is oxidation potential. Another term which is a part of electrode potential is reduction potential. So reduction potential. Reduction potential. What is the definition of reduction potential? It is quite equivalent to the oxidation potential instead of uh, oxidation reduction. It is the potential of the electrode to act as cathode and undergo reduction. It is the potential of the electrode to act as cathode and undergo reduction. It doesn't matter that you have to this reduction potential. And this knowledge of uh, electrode potential, standard electrode potential, oxidation potential and reduction potential is very, very important in order to understand the electrochemical series. In order to understand uh, the electrochemical series and uh, if you understand the electrochemical series only, then it will become very easy for you to decide among the two electrodes which one will act as anode and undergo oxidation, which one will act as cathode and undergo reduction. So before watching that particular electrochemical series, you have to watch this particular video. I hope you understood this. Thanks.